the divorce laws came to be. I do. I want to know. I, I somebody must have written a book on it. I just want to know how we got to this place where, um, you know, first of all, this idea that you have to live in the style of which you've become accustomed. I can help you here. I can okay. help you in a couple, couple ways. Here's the big one. Lawyers make a lot of money if there's a large settlement. So it's lawyers. Yes. Lawyers don't make a lot of money if there's no settlement. You know, Phil Hartman, when he was getting divorced, one of the things that he said to me, I go, half come on man you make a lot of money he goes it's not half it was crazy he's like it's two-thirds the third it's goddamn exactly. scam and i've had friends that have gotten divorced and even though they were they had come to an agreement with the, the ex like let's listen with this this and you'll get this and i'll get this fine then the lawyers jump in he's and this now they're trying to deserve more that's exactly and, the plot of and, the movie marriage have you seen marriage no, story I haven't. Uh oh no. It's terrific. I was again it at the beginning because it was about an actress and a theater director, and I was like, Jesus, f can't you f at least pretend that there are people in America not outside of your exact circle? There've been so many big movies, you know, that are just about your right. world of show business. Have a little creativity, make them something else. But okay, I got over that. And then it's just a terrific movie about. There's no bells and whistles. It's just, we're married, we seem very happy, and then, well, we're not happy, and we're going to get divorced, and then um, we're going to let's just do it amicably and not get lawyers involved, and then it all falls apart. And once it goes down that path that you're talking about, it just becomes as vicious as anything yeah. without guns. Well, I had a friend who got divorced, and no, no family, okay, no children. They didn't have children. And uh, it dragged on for more than, I think, almost three years. And even though they had come yeah. to some kind of, sort of conclusion, he was paying for his wife's lawyer. I go, it's that's like you're paying for the general. The army is trying to kill you. You're paying. And that's what we're dealing with. From lovers to friends to never speak again. Like, is marriage played out? Is marriage kind of like the Bible? A lot, and if you're a huge Bible person, you should probably get up out of here. I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that book needs an uh, upgrade, just like our government needs an upgrade, and so many other things need an upgrade. I mean, you get new clothes when they get holes in them, you put a new roof on when it leaks, you get a new damn iPhone every time they drop. But you're saying certain things we can just we've been doing it like this since the beginning so let's keep doing it i mean come on if we played like that we'd still be in huts we wouldn't have shoes a lot of things wouldn't happen so why should marriage be any different it's a thing where it's cool it's nice the tradition but it's just like christmas it's just like thanksgiving it's like certain things are changing not for everyone because you're always going to have people that hang on for dear life all the way to the end and past the end but for the most part when you look at it it's like all right is this a thing we should really still have or can we just have yo i mess with you you mess with me homie lover friend i fuck with you but you know what i'm saying it's complex but this is where i be at most of the time you know can we have some for that <laughs> you feel me and i am married but I was just talking to my wife, and we talk all the time, and she knows, you know, the realness of me. But like when we first were together, I told her, I don't want to be married. I thought it was some dumb shit. I'm like, if we really fuck with each other, let's just fuck with each other and be together. And I still feel like that. And you're like, well, why'd you get married? Because shit happens, kids. It just does. You know what I'm saying? It just does. That's a long story, just like a lot of people's stories are long. You know, so, but I'm, I'm telling you overall, when we, we've discussed this amongst each other, that if we had it to do again, we'd probably just go with the, you know, cool co-parenting. We still fuck and it's all good route rather than putting our names on the contract. You know what I'm saying? But she says that she fucks with marriage too sometimes. So, you know, Hey the ladies all over the place at times so it's like you know it depends on when you ask it from day to day with me i just think we could get to the same goals without all the extra shit the fact we had to have a witness and it was really like signing a contract away in blood it's like man i don't know 
I mean, I fuck with my wife, I lucked up, because I really do got a homie lover friend, and we cool like that, but not everyone does get that. Some people just have to learn to coexist together. They just have to, well, I made a decision, and, you know, God was there, and I gotta honor that shit. And that's how it goes for a lot of people. So I'm not saying I'm not lucky, but I'm also saying I understand the other argument of, do we really have to do the ceremony do we have, because, you know, with the ceremony comes, hey, nigga, if you don't like me anymore, you know, you still got to honor your agreement, and your contract. That's where it gets fuzzy. Like they were talking about divorce. People been together 20 years plus, 30 years plus, whatever. And it's like, now nah, I hate you. And I want my damn fish tank and, and fuck you. And <laughs> when it, it's like, you know, and it can be that nasty in breakups just as a whole, but not legally. It's when you get a judge involved and the judge can look down their nose and they've been through a nasty divorce and it's it's fuck all women or fuck all men and man the system's nasty just like the child support system but that's another video you know I mean? <laughs> that's another video so i'm just asking y'all what do you think overall is marriage still such a thing where in the future it's gonna be where okay, we love each other, so we got to do the ceremony and invite our families or not invite our family, or however you do it, but we got to do this thing and get this piece of paper for it to be real, or are more and more people going to go, you know what? We know what it is, and that's good enough. So let me know in the comments. <laughs> I just, I want to see people's opinion because I guess I'm just tired of arguing in the crib about it that I feel like it's not a necessary thing. My wife's like, you know, there's, it's got its benefits. It does, but you know, whatever. Let me know what y'all think. Definitely got love for y'all. I'm coming with some more reactions on the way, all that good stuff. Hope your week's going off right. I'll see y'all soon. Keep the bullshit out and your energy high. You already know. Peace.